professor of electrical engineering at Stanford University, and I'm also very active in uh, two of the IEEE societies, the Communication Society, COMSOC, and the Information Theory Society. Uh, the two organizations uh, have a wonderful interplay between them, and there's many members that are part of both societies. One focuses a little bit more on the theoretical fundamental limits of what we can do with communication systems. In the Communication Society, focuses a little bit more on how we actually build them and what kind of performance we can hope to get in practice. COMSOC is uh, a much bigger society, about 10 times larger, and it includes a much larger industry component, which I think is very useful when you're uh, academic to be able to interact with people that are in industry and building systems because that motivates a lot of the problems uh, that are interesting from a theoretical perspective to Several to years ago, I decided that I'd been working on theoretical problems and wanted to go and build a system, so I started a company that uh, name is Quantena Communications, and we built uh, the next generation of Wi-Fi chipsets, and that was a very interesting experience, a very uh, uh, much of a learning experience to see not only how to take ideas and put them into chips, but also how to build up a company from scratch and build a team of engineers. And uh, when I returned to Stanford, I think that uh, startup experience informed a lot about both my research and teaching that I wouldn't have uh, been able to think in quite the same way about problems had I not had that industry experience. I got involved actually at Globecom um, 1994. So this was the year that I finished my PhD. And at that time, Globecom was just starting to have uh, a few mini symposiums focused on specific topics and the COM theory symposium was one of the ones that was being uh, promoted to hold at that Globecom. But they needed a local person to work with the technical program committee because this was a new idea to have these so mini symposiums. So I got involved and charmed them into seeing that this was a really good thing to do and I very much enjoyed working with the technical program committee uh, during the planning of Globecom and I got to see what's involved and it's a tremendous undertaking to plan a conference like that and I got to be involved in planning the symposium and uh, I realized what a great group of people it was to work with and how much fun it was to actually get involved and volunteer and see behind the scenes what goes on rather than just you kind of send your paper off in this submission process into some black hole and then you get a rejection or an acceptance and you don't know anything about the process so um, that really kind of whetted my appetite uh, to get more involved in Comsoc, and uh, it was a wonderful community even for someone who hadn't even graduated I didn't even have my PhD they welcomed the effort and the enthusiasm and the energy of uh, my volunteer time and uh, it was basically the beginning of a of a long process of involvement I've served as an editor, I've served on editorial boards for journals, I've organized many conferences, I've been on the Board of Governors. And all of my volunteer activities, um, I felt like I could make a difference and also could try to make the society of more value to its members and especially its younger members and junior members. And I continue to volunteer for those reasons. I think it's a wonderful community. Uh, it's a community of friends where people that are very senior and very famous that you wouldn't think would even talk to you as a young person, they talk to you, they like you, they work with you. Uh, and you realize what a wonderful group of people are in this profession. And that's why I've enjoyed volunteering and will continue to do so as long as I can and I'm invited. The biggest value of Comsoc to me was as a community of colleagues and researchers, community of people that you can turn to for help. In technical uh, problems that you come across, you don't need to work on your own or just with the people in your university or in your company. Comsoc is a global worldwide network of professionals um, that are really very friendly and helpful uh, to other members of the society. It's like being part of a club. And, uh, and I found it remarkable how supportive that has been for me professionally. And then there's all the things that Comsoc does. So the awards, I mean, I've been fortunate to win some awards and that's a tremendously uh, gratifying situation because you're acknowledged by your peers and your colleagues, the people that you respect, that they recognize the value of your work.